Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The New Jersey settlers arrived in the Natchez District on this day, August 9, 1773. They had come to settle on 19,000 acres of a land grant given by King George to Captain Amos Ogden, who had served the British Crown in the French and Indian War. King George had given Ogden 25,000 acres anywhere in West Florida, which included Adams and Wilkinson counties, on the condition that within 10 years, the land had to be settled with one settler for every 100 acres. Ogden couldn't meet the terms of the grant and ended up selling some of his land to his neighbors in New Jersey, the Kings and the Swayze's for 20 cents an acre. The two families were British loyalists, and as the American Revolution approached, they became increasingly uncomfortable in the area. Led by the Swayze brothers, the group known as the New Jersey Settlers consisted of 15 families and 76 individuals, including 29 adults, 39 children, three apprentices, and five slaves. One of the members was Sam Swayze, who is credited with the bringing of Protestantism to Mississippi by forming a congressional church. The Settlers were successful, and in 1784, Caleb King laid out a city that became known as Kingston. In 1940, descendants of the New Jersey Settlers formed a historical organization called the Descendants of the Jersey Settlers in Adams County. Hi, I'm Cole Mosby. I'm a senior at Trinity Episcopal, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.